Hello, I'm image consultant Susan Bigsby at SusanBigsby.com. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to tie a western tie. Now, you may not have much need to tie a western tie ever in your life, but you never know when this need may arise. The trick is you don't always have to purchase the tie. You can actually do this with a black satin ribbon. Now, if you buy a ribbon, I would say probably about 60 inches long. You can always cut it. So, better to have it too long than too short. You tie it just like a bow or just like you would tie your sneaker. You take one length over the other, flip it around just like you're tying your sneaker. The ribbon that's on top stays on top. So you're going to loop the underneath ribbon with your finger like you would tie a tie. Keep this ribbon on top all the way around the bow. Put that underneath part through and pull out your bow, making it nice and flat. Then you pull down the ribbon and you actually have what they call a western ribbon, which is actually a western bow tie and really just a bow. Now where would you wear a tie like this? Most of us are pretty accustomed to the traditional bow tie and a necktie and that kind of thing, but this is a little bit more unusual this day and age anyway. I would probably say it would be most appropriate in a square dance situation where you were dressed in theme and there are still lots of local square dance companies who have tons of fun all over the country. This would be the appropriate place to wear a, a western style bow tie. This is Susan Bigsby. Thanks for watching.